Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning in to 1111 Synchronicity Tarot. I am back with another reading, so let's just hop straight into it, okay? Thank you, Spirit Guides, Ancestors of Mine, the Highest White Light. Give me some messages here for my collective. Please and thank you. All right, you got paradise, happiness, and joy. So, baby, you and your divine mask could be getting ready to go on a vacation, honey, in a boat or something like that. Y'all going to be real happy. It's going to be a lot of playfulness here. Y'all going to be enjoying each other. Okay, now some of y'all could be getting ready to get married with this honeymoon phase. So, some of y'all... This person could be coming in proposing to you, and maybe it can go really fast. So this is for you all that maybe been in separation or been away from each other for a very long time. And this person is realizing you the one. And he come in and propose to you. But y'all not going to be engaged no long time because y'all done already been away from each other for a very long time. This is somebody y'all were... He going to propose to you. Y'all might go to the courthouse or somewhere. I'm telling you, Vegas or something. Like, it's going to go real quick. Engage, marry, boom. Like, it ain't going to be no engaged and then y'all going to be, I mean, propose and then y'all going to be engaged for two, three years. And then, no, 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 no. Y'all, there's something that's going to get ready to happen. I'm telling you, this person is like he already know what he wants. So y'all going to have like some type of really nice vacation or something like that, y'all. Okay, around a lot of water. I'm getting Jason's lyric. Okay, both of you all could have went through some things before because, you know, in Jason's lyric, they didn't come from uh, the fanciest or the nicest. You know what I'm saying? And they had they didn't have growing up. They didn't have like luxury growing up. You know what I'm saying? But he was a great man, though. You know what I'm saying? Um, I honestly, that's kind of like what I'm picking up on. Like, I, I feel like both of y'all could have, like, similar past, like, similar childhood experiences. And I feel like the things that you all been through has made you all, like, a great man and a great woman. You know what I'm saying? Even though y'all have went through tests and trials, y'all have went through some things. But it's like y'all learn from those things and it has made y'all both better and the best that y'all can be. Um, and y'all going to have a very beautiful life, though. You know what I'm saying? Now, but I'm definitely getting... Um, this person is definitely going to want to propose to you and marry you, y'all. Okay? Um, and I feel like with this honeymoon phase, too, it's going to be something that never dies out. Like, you know how some people say the honeymoon phase only lasts maybe like a few months or a year. Baby, it ain't going to ever leave because y'all have finally met y'all person. And you know when you meet your person, when you meet that person that you actually love and that's sent by God, bro. That's your best friend. That's your lover. That's your everything. It never, you never get bored them. The love never dies out. It never go away. When y'all get together, all the way until God get ready to call y'all home, the love go always be the same as if y'all just met. Matter of fact, when people see y'all, they going to think, hey, how long y'all been together? Uh, We've been together for 13 years. We've been together for 20 years. Y'all act like y'all still act like kids. Y'all still like that. Like how you people might be acting asking y'all how y'all keep the fire burning. How do you all stay that way? Well, when you actually get with somebody that love you and you love them, it's easy. I feel like that's what you're gonna tell people. Cause y'all love each other for real. It ain't for fake. It ain't for play play. It's for real. Y'all love each other. And y'all are friends, too. Y'all best friends. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all have that fun together. Y'all gonna always enjoy each other. It's gonna always be playfulness. 
You know what I'm saying? The love and the passion, the chemistry, it ain't never going to die out. Ever. Like, never. I don't care how old y'all get. It's going to always be there. Yeah. Oh. That's, that's, that's cute. That's cute. Let's just see. Oh, this person finds you to be attractive. Very attractive. Y'all, you don't play about your person. You're very protective. The queen of wands is very protective of the ones that she love. And it's like you're able to protect the ones that you love, like physically, emotionally, but also it's like spiritually because you're somebody that's very intuitive. So it's like you already be kind of knowing things. So you all can even protect people from things that spiritually, right? You you just know what you know. You know? And so many great qualities about you, collective. Like, it's not just one. It's so many. It's so many great qualities about you. You know, but you're very calm. You're very easygoing. Um, you're kind. You're emotional. You're cheerful. You're very laid back. You know what I'm saying? But you're also, it's like you're very big on, um, like, health. You're very fit. All these different things, like you got so many great qualities, collective, so many. And your person is in love with all of them here. Um, with the two of cups here, y'all, this person definitely, it's like, they want to heal this connection. They want to be with you. Y'all, I feel like it's going to be a lot of flirting in this connection. Didn't I tell y'all, like, it's going to be like, y'all going to be like best friends and, and lovers, Okay. So that that very flirty, um, fun energy is never gonna go nowhere. Like your person gonna always want to flirt with you. Like no matter how long y'all um, been together, you know, it's like when you put your clothes on, you put that cute dress or that cute outfit on. That person gonna be like, oh wait, he like, <laughs> can I be your man? Can I get your number? You know what I'm saying? Can I take you out on a date? <laughs> it's gonna always be cute and flirty or something like that y'all okay i'm telling you but your person finds you to be so beautiful so attractive y'all y'all look so good to this person okay this i don't know i don't know if it's something significant about yellow or brown or something like that y'all but i feel like it's it's certain colors that your, your person could like seeing you in gray, maybe like earth tone colors. I'm going to say like um, brown, green, gray, um, colors like that. I don't know. Maybe you look very good in yellow. Maybe you look very good in brown or gray or something like black. The, this person loves you in colors like that. Green. Or maybe those can be your favorite colors and you wear those and the clothes you wear, it look really nice on you. But he like you in colors like that. So maybe he's seeing you in those and he, and he was like, whoa, she look good in those colors. <laughs> okay, but baby, your person is so attracted to you. Okay, you blow this person mind here. All right, you got expectation. 
See, your person know that you wanted him to be the best that he could be. Okay? With that expectation. It's like you, however he was at one point, y'all, I feel like you knew whatever it is that he was doing, he could be way better than that. You just knew it. You knew this person could be better than, than what he was. And this person want to be all that you want him to be. And it's like he, he this time around, he don't want to disappoint you. Because I do feel like y'all in the past that he did disappoint you. You know what I'm saying? He really did let you down. And it's like he he trying his best to make sure this time that he don't. Okay. So, y'all. in a, It's like in the past, y'all. It's like you always been this queen of wands. You always been intuitive. You always been. You always had a strong intuition. And and, and some of you all, you could have did your. your, your you could have used your intuition like out but you're very intelligent and very wise so it's like you know what you know you be knowing what you know and i don't know if maybe you told you told your person using your gifts about some of the things that you were picking up on the energy around him or something like that or what was going on what was going on with you with some people current people are in or third parties that was attached to him could have been doing to you. But some type of truth came out about some energies around him that he was attached to. And maybe he maybe he didn't want to believe that they would do something like that. Or he didn't want to believe that they were involved in whatever it is that you told him about. But some type of truth came out by some karmic people that did something to you. Maybe because of your work that you do, your intuition. So this person want to make something fair to you. He also want to defend you against these karmic people that, were, that was attached to him in some way. And he want to heal this connection. I definitely feel like he in deep regret, y'all. For not believing you or not believing that the people that he was attached to or know or knew of was capable of doing something towards you regarding your intuition or your work. Um, or something like that, y'all. So maybe you was calling them out. Maybe you knew what they were doing. Like you, because the Queen of Wands is very intuitive. The, y'all, the Queen of Wands is just, y'all, it put me in the mind of the high priestess. You know what you know. You're very intelligent. You have a very sharp mind. And that gives me high priestess vibes. You know what you know. And you see how the queen of wands sit with that wand in her hand like that big wand. It's like, bro, I'm standing on business. Like, I know what I picked up on and I know what I know and I ain't changing it. I'm very passionate about what I know. Can't nobody make me change or 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 nothing that I know. I know what I picked up on whatever my whatever God said about you, whatever download he gave me about a situation of you, it's right. And I'm standing firm on what I picked up on. So I don't care if it's mama, daddy, sister, brother, best friend, grandma, granddaddy, uncle, auntie, niece, nephew, best friend, childhood friend. Uh, somebody you slept with. I don't care whatever God told me about a situation or a person. I'm standing firm on it because I know I know what I know because God gave it to me. So you, I feel like you told your person something that was going on that they were doing or a part of. And maybe your person didn't believe it or he just didn't do nothing about it. And some type of truth came out and now he feel like he got to protect you and stand up for you. He want to stand up for himself and for you. You know what I'm saying? Because some type of truth came out about them. Now he want to heal this connection. I feel like your person feels stupid for not defending you or not seeing something sooner when you first said something about it. Or he was around certain people. 
You know what I'm saying? And even the people that he knew, the people that they was attached to. It's like, how did I not see that? How was these people doing this or saying this or involved in this? And I didn't see it. I missed it. How did I miss it? Or something, it's something like that, y'all. With this nine of swords, y'all. Because these, your person, these people worked hard to do something. When it comes to you, your intuition, your work. Maybe they didn't like the fact that you was picking up on their energy and it was so accurate. They didn't like it. And they grouped up together to do some type of trickery towards you with this pumpkin. Some type of spell work towards you. That was the truth there. These people were thirsty. They were hungry to do something to you. You hear me? And I really feel like it was to intimidate you because you have a strong intuition. Y'all, you have a very sharp mind and a strong intuition. And I really feel like they were intimidated because you could pick up on their energy, right? And and you didn't have to be around them. You could be at your house in your car. You could you ain't got to be around you folks to pick up on their energy. So they wanted to do something to where they can pick up on something on you and they ain't around and you don't know where they at. So they were intimidated by you. So they wanted to do something or get something to where they could pick up on your energy. And you didn't know where they was at and you didn't know how. But these are people here that's not gifted. So these are people here that was doing spell work. You know what I'm saying? They were doing spells to try to get information from you subconsciously. Because you get real downloads from God and they were intimidated by that. They were intimidated about your gift, your true gift. That these people stooped it low to do spell work. <clears throat> To get information from you through your subconscious to intimidate you. So they wanted to know all of the most embarrassing and, and, and your deepest, darkest secrets. Y'all, it's dark witches do spells to get information from people from their mind. I don't know what it's called. Y'all can look it up, but I'm strongly getting that is the spell that these people did on you. It causes you sometimes to stutter a whole lot. It causes you to forget. Okay. It causes you to forget almost like you have Alzheimer's or dementia a little bit. It's not what you have, but it's, it's a strong spell that they do. And it will have you stumbling over your words a lot and, and forgetful. OK, they will also send things to you to make you upset and easily angered. But and it's like when they make you angry or send something to you in the same time, they will steal information from your subconscious. So you won't even be aware of what else they did in your energy because you were so focused on being angry. So it's different things that they do to get information from you. You see what I'm saying? It's something like that. Y'all can try to look it up and see what it is. But that if you was wondering, why am I forgetting so much? Because they were stealing information from you subconsciously. With dark spells. Y'all, let me get my phone because I want to see what the name of it is. Because some of y'all going through that. You went through it or you're going through it right now. Let's
Y'all, whoever, whoever was doing some type of dark spell to steal information from you subconscious, subconsciously could be ODN or something like that. Because I just got that too. Y'all, these people were using animals and stuff too. And if they got a hold to some type of corpse, they were using that too. Now, how they got access to a corpse, I don't know. I do not know, y'all. These people were into some really dark stuff, okay? But they did. So they were using animals. And they was using corpse. So I don't know if they if they went to a funeral and they put something on yours in the casket. I don't know, but or they know somebody at a funeral home, a cemetery, and, and they had them put it in there. That's the only thing I can see. Cause I I'm I'm not seeing nobody going to no random cemetery and digging something unless they in the middle of the night put something on yours out there. But like I said, I, unless they know somebody that worked there already and it's their job and they had them put something of yours out there. Somebody was doing something at a graveyard site. Something of yours is at, at buried in a cemetery somewhere or they literally put your stuff with a corpse. Y'all, something is finna happen to where whoever these dark witches are, the magic that they use, uh, something gonna happen to prevent them from doing something to you. Something is gonna happen to where they not gonna be able to use certain spells or do something anymore. Maybe it's gonna be taken away from them. Because I'm also getting that as well. Yeah, they were doing spirit magic. Uh, yeah, it's some type of ancient forms of magic that they were doing on you. If you was wondering, wondering what they were doing, that is what they were doing. Some type of ancient form of magic or something. Rituals. Y'all, it could even been Asians involved. Okay. These people could have been linked with Asians and they were involved. So they, yeah. Let me see. It's not coming up. Let's see. Okay, it's called thought implantation spell. Because sometimes y'all, if you if you need to know what it is, so you can try to remove it yourself, or you can try to pray it away, and you can ask God to remove whatever this is. 
Okay. So it's showing where positive affirmations is good for helping with whatever this is. I don't know why I'm going deep into it, but I feel like somebody has been suffering from this. Okay. If somebody had were, was doing something to manipulate your mind here, like control your thoughts. Because it says the thought implantation spell is a spell that's intended to manipulate the subconscious mind, influence the mind and control your thoughts. So they were doing, they were controlling your thoughts. It's like, yes, you could think on your own, but it was clouded with whatever it is that they were sending you. They were trying to control it. It's called thought implantation spell. That's what they were doing. They were doing spells to attack your subconscious. So subconscious spells, that's what they were doing. So if you wanted to know what, what it's called, that's what it's called. So you will know how to either go get help. Now, I don't know if it's that bad for y'all where you want to try to go get help. I don't even, I don't do spells. I don't even do the ones to reverse it. But you, if, if God tell you, you could do something to help remove it yourself, then hey, so be it. But I, I don't get into none of that stuff. I pray it away. But maybe you can ask God to remove that by you knowing the name. And maybe you could be specific when you're praying this away or something like that. But that's what they were doing to you. Okay. They were doing a subconscious spell on you. And that's what it's called. So you can Google it and maybe or get a book on it to get more on it to see what you can do to remove it or keep people from uh, accessing your subconscious because that's what they were doing. They were doing some really dangerous stuff to you. Okay. Yeah, they were doing some type of hypnosis spell as well. Okay. But it's showing where you can, you can, you can do it without having to do some type of spell. Different things like positive affirmations. So maybe you want to repeat those, okay, every day. Okay, meditation helps. Meditation, positive affirmations. So maybe you need to do that every single day, all through the day to help keep these people, uh, keep whatever they're projecting to you or whatever it is that they're trying to control and send to you out and more of positive things, okay? Because those things do help, okay? All right, but let me keep going. So this is what I feel like your person is very, 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 I feel like regretful for not believing something. Okay, let me see. I want to know. So he want to heal this connection with you, y'all. Because he didn't know that he had witches as friends. Y'all, I don't even feel like Y'all, and why I just seen something about twitches? And I didn't even know this energy was going to come out. Okay, but even though they were on the good side of things, okay, and they didn't even know that they had those gifts because their parents tried to, um, their parents tried to, like, keep them from it. So they didn't even know the power that they had. They didn't even know. You know what I'm saying? They really didn't know the power that they really had because their parents was trying to keep them from that so they wouldn't be like attacked and stuff like that. You know? Uh, but they end up coming together. That's the movie y'all with Tia and Tamara. Okay, but it's definitely deeper than what it is, even though it's a Disney movie. I feel like some of you all, like your lineage, lineage like y'all just don't know how powerful. Like where your family come from, maybe you need to find out 
because you're very powerful to the point where you had dark witches and stuff like that and warlocks after you because you're so strong. And I feel like you stand strong by yourself that all these people had to group up together to attack you and do things to you. I don't know if they know where you come from and if they look deep down into your roots, your lineage to see. Child, I don't know, but you something. I'm telling you, you some serious. You're very strong. I feel like you don't even know your own power. I, I feel like you don't even know how powerful you are, but these people know. So I don't know if it's because it was kept from you so you could have a normal life or something like that, y'all. I don't know, but somehow these people found out about it or something, y'all. So, I, I, you know, these people's deep, in, some deep into some demonic stuff. These are dark witches and warlocks in your community that was attached to your divine masculine. They didn't want y'all to be together, but they also was trying to steal your gifts. They could have also been trying to take them, find out what you what you're gifted at to try to steal it. Telling you something with your subconscious, y'all. They were trying to take over your subconscious. They felt like if they did this, they could stop what you're doing for work. And then they could stop you from picking up on stuff from them because they didn't want people to know what they were involved in. They dealing with dead bodies and 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 uh, animals and things like that. Y'all, these people went to some real horrible stuff. You hear me? Y'all, y'all need to see about somebody here in this karmic group. That work at a, a a a funeral home or something. Somebody gave somebody something of yours. Now, how they got access to something of yours, I don't know. Somebody got something of yours, and I'm telling you, they buried it in a cemetery. They gave it to somebody that's one of these witches or warlocks, and they buried it. I'm telling you, in in a grave or put it down there. So, child, this is nuts. You hear me? They did that. They did that. They did that. You cannot do no form of magic or spells like that to try to to try to unalive somebody and 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 harm them. Like if it's proof on it, like you can go to jail on that. Especially if if whatever it is they got buried is found and it's yours. This is crazy. So I'm speaking on it because some of y'all needed to know. Yeah, look, these people would keep trying to keep it a secret on what they did and what they were doing to you. They was trying to keep so they didn't want nobody to know that they were doing this to you. You told I feel like you told your person that they could have been doing things to food, drinks. They were watching you. They were doing this to you. They was harassing you. And y'all, he he probably just blew it over. That's why I feel like he regretful for not seeing something. Maybe he's seen some signs or people were being weird. But maybe he like, you know, maybe it ain't nothing. Like, no, it was something. It was something. <laughs> for sure, it was something. <laughs> it definitely was. They they It's like a pact. All these people were doing this or and they was watching people do this. And they, they had a pact that they weren't going to tell on each other. Or say what the people, or say what they seen, or what they knew people were doing to you. Because maybe some of these people that was just watching didn't want you to be with this person, so it's like they didn't care what these people did, because they didn't want you to be with him. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, I'm trying to shed light on this and then I'm going to go back to the other part. I want to get all of this energy out so hopefully it don't come out in my next reading. Yeah. Y'all, for some of y'all, either this person that your person used to date, an uh, ex of his, is in this coven. This this with the witches and warlocks, it's an ex of his that perform dark witchcraft. 
Okay. And they could be a serial killer. They could have definitely unalived people before with this. Okay. And it could be found out that somebody that Joe Divine Masculine used to date, one of his exes is a dark witch attached to them. Their friends, their family, deep into this voodoo and dark spells. And they actually, it's going to be found out that they actually have unalived somebody or some people with this before. Okay. Yeah. And they tried to do it to you, but it, it didn't it didn't take you out of here because you're too protected and too powerful and strong for these people. I, y'all, I feel like it's so many of them that grouped up together and it ain't and, and, and it didn't work. Or it ain't working. I feel like they all grouped up together like the power of three, but it was like a hundred of them. You hear me? I feel like it was a lot of them because you're so powerful. By yourself. And you don't even do any of this stuff that they're doing. But you're so protected. Y'all, I feel like they was trying to find out people close to you that could have passed away to try to make it to where these people can't protect you. They were even doing that, y'all. They was trying to contact or block your protection through some type of spells. I don't know what. That's what I'm getting. So if you had a mother, a father, a grandmother, grandfather, uncle, auntie, cousins, whoever that done passed away, anybody that they felt like they could be protecting you, the reason why nothing was hitting you, they were trying to have it to where these people stay away from you. Now, I don't know how they could have been doing that, but it didn't work because you were still being protected and they were still watching over you, but they were trying to remove your protection. So these are people here, y'all, that know you protected. They know it. If they had to do all this, they know how protected you are. They like, wait a minute, why it's not working on her? So let's try to take her protection away. Y'all, these people is trying to contact your past over loved ones and trying to keep them away from you. So baby, if they, if anybody ever said anything about you being weak, you not having no protection or they tried to project something to you to make you not feel protected. That was a lie. That was to make you feel insecure or make it feel like ain't, you ain't got no type of rank or nothing in the spiritual realm. That was them trying to take your confidence and make you believe that when really behind the scenes, they were doing dark spells to take your protection away. So, baby, you never believe whatever was being projected to you because that was a lie. You're heavily protected, which is why they was trying to take it away. Because it, it wasn't getting to you how they wanted it to get to you. I promise you that. It wasn't. You're powerful. You're very powerful. And it wasn't working. It wasn't hitting you like it did other people. I'm telling you, whoever this person is could be somebody that your person used to date. Their friends and their family are deep into this dark witchcraft, dark spells. And your person might not even know that he was even dating a witch, like dark witches. And they and, 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 and was around them. And who all involved? I feel like your person finna find out about that. That whatever it is that you were saying about some people, what they were doing to you. He finna find out the truth with that justice card. And he gonna feel so... Y'all feel like your person gonna grieve a little bit because he can't believe that some of these people were doing what they were doing or like even into this. And I'm telling you, something might be found to yours at a cemetery. And it's, it could be some karmic funeral direct home directors uh, at them burial plots or something like that. Or uh, some of yours, something of yours is out there or it's some type of proof or something that these people did. Yeah, I'm telling you. A secret. I'm telling you. Y'all could be something about a vault. They could have put something in a vault. I don't know if you can open those back up. But they put something in a vault. Something about a vault.
So it's going to be some type of disaster. It's going to be some type of disaster. Y'all, <laughs> Give us some more on this secret. What else with this serial killer in this secret? But these are witches and warlocks. <sighs> these people were doing something, y'all, and it could have been for money. It says relentless pursuit of money. These are people here, y'all, that also did something for money towards you. So they could have been paying somebody to do this. So somebody here could have been paid to do something to you. And the money, the, the money seems so good, they didn't want to turn it down. So they start doing something to you for money. So they did this to you for money, y'all. It was large amounts of money that was, so this was like a hit. They was trying to unalive you through dark spell work. And they thought for sure it was going to work. Because it could have worked on people in the past. Because this is a serial, it's a serial killer. So this is somebody that has definitely unalived somebody or some people before with, with whatever it is that they do. The dark stuff they do. And that's the secret. And your person could know who this is or know who was paying the money. Somebody didn't want you to progress. They wanted you to constantly have bad luck. Y'all, these people are affecting your, affecting your dream state as well. So if you stopped having dreams and, and, God, and God communicate with you through your dreams, it could have been where you stopped having dreams. Or you noticed that the dreams you have, it was weird. Like you knew that it wasn't what God was trying to show you. These people were accessing your dreams and, and altering it. Because that these people are trying to affect how you get messages. They didn't want you to see what they were doing to you or to other people and, and what they do in secret. This is a secret group of witches and warlocks. And, pe and regular people don't even know that they do this. Y'all, these people deal with dead bodies and everything, y'all. I'm telling you, it could be found that the these people, all the people that they have unalived with this. And some of these people might be even going to jail. So y'all, never doubt how powerful you are. Because these people was trying to commute, trying to contact or get a hold of your past of loved ones to try to block your protection. Because whatever it is that they were doing wasn't hitting you like they wanted to. You're very powerful. I'm telling you right now. It's going to be a disaster in this dark witch cover. It's going to be a disaster. Let's see what this is. What is this man, man made? Oh, shoot. These people trying to avoid judge. So, y'all, these are people here just trying to do spells to stop their judgment. I don't believe that these people believed in karma before until they started doing something to you. Because maybe things could be backfiring on them. Maybe that never happened. Maybe these people always did these type of things and it never backfired on them. Look, and when I said that for the folks, see, you're protected. Something is backfiring on these people to where now they feel like they can't, everything they did, even the other people, is coming back on them. Judgment is turning around back on them. It's backfiring on them. I don't believe these people ever believed in karma because these people will even do things to try to protect them from it coming back on them. Now, these are people here, y'all. They could have been paying. They were skilled in what they do. But they weren't skilled enough to work. Whatever they were doing to you would work. It wasn't working. And it ain't going to work because you're too protected. 
I don't feel like they knew that before they did something to you. Y'all, these people about everything about the backfire on these people with this man-made disaster. You hear me? They definitely, it was, they definitely did this towards you, Divine Feminine. <coughs> they wanted to stop a marriage or a wedding. These people tried to, I'm t look, and then mind control came out. Y'all know I know what I'm talking about. These people tried to control your mind. Using some type of subconscious spell. I'm telling you. Go look it up. That's what they was doing. They was playing with your subconscious, y'all. I'm telling you right now. They was trying to control your mind. They didn't want... They Yes, you could have still been alive, still been moving around. But they, it's like they wanted you in a zombie state. To where they could control you. What you do with these spells that they were doing. This is like you not even knowing when to go to the bathroom on your own. They control when you go. You you could normally watch the news at a certain time. This is them having you watch what they want what they want you to watch. Them sending something to you telling you to go do something else. This is what they wanted, but it wasn't working how they wanted wanted it to work. Now, it could have worked temporarily. Little things could have happened to where it worked. But it wasn't hitting you like they wanted it to. Baby, they wanted total control over your mind. Where you were gone and they were controlling you. I'm telling you. God would not allow them to do that. God wouldn't allow these people to, to do this sick, evil plan. And they mad that you're still alive. But somebody got inside the inside scoop about a vault or something in a tunnel, something buried. Somebody got the inside scoop on what these people be doing. To try to unalive, to unalive people. And, and they finna go to jail. Y'all, they had people here that was with them that was loyal. That didn't want to snitch. Or they were scared to snitch because they didn't want them to do nothing to them. It's going to be something found in a wooded area as well. Either these, these dead animals or these bodies or whatever. But something finna be found in a wooded area. I don't know if the wooded area could be close by a cemetery. I don't know. But something to be found. And somebody got the inside scoop on this mind control. What they were doing to you. These dark spells on your subconscious. Look it up, y'all. Y'all know. When I pick up on stuff, baby. It be things that God really give me. And somebody watching me has been dealing with this secret coven. And you was you was wondering why. You was always confused. You, you, you was slurring your words or... Stuff was going chaotic in your life. They were doing this to you. They were doing this to you. And some of you all needed to know, like, what is going on? You didn't know? Well, this is what was going on. For the ones of you all that didn't know or don't know what's been going on, this is what's going on. God is giving me this information to tell you. This is what's been going on in your life. If it's been chaotic and it's still chaotic, this is why. But these people finna go to jail. They had a secret pact that they weren't going to tell. But somebody got inside, y'all. I'm telling you, somebody got inside and know the secret. Somebody got the key. And maybe that's the disaster. These people did something to you out of revenge. Because then I say you the high priest is upright. Y'all are psychic. God do give you do give you messages. And these people were intimidated because you could pick up on their energy and you didn't have to be around them or even know them. 
So they wanted to do something that intimidated you because they were intimidated by your natural born gifts. So they start using dark spells on you to steal things from you subconsciously. So this was revenge for something that God gave you. Yep, they did this to you out of revenge, y'all. And they wanted to take a marriage. These people know that you were supposed to be married to your divine masculine. And, and they did dark spells to keep y'all apart. <coughs> something could even been through in water. Okay, something hidden is found out, y'all. I'm telling you, especially with these animals, y'all. I'm telling you, in this wooded area. And something was even through and thrown in some water. And they upset that, I'm telling you, these people upset y'all that you still alive because it didn't work. Whatever they was doing to you was supposed to take you out of here and it didn't. They mad about that and they finna go to jail. Not only is what they doing didn't work, but they finna go to jail behind this too because somebody got the key. Somebody got inside this secret coven, y'all, and maybe pretended like they was gonna be down to do something towards you. Well, however they did it, I don't know. how. To, whoever it is, I don't know how they got inside. It's not telling me. And so it ain't meant for me to say that. But they got inside of this secret witch coven. They know what these people been doing to you. And like I said, even to probably other people that they done already took out. Because it say that somebody in this secret witch coven is a serial killer. So they done, they done, it done actually worked before. And they wondering how you still alive, prosper. So now that I got that out the way, let's go back to what I was saying. So since that didn't work, right? That didn't work. Whatever they was doing to you didn't work because you're too protected. Okay. Now let's go back to this happiness and joy because they tried to take this away from you. They tried to steal your happiness, your joy. They tried to take love away from you. And it's not happening. Because this is what's still coming to you. Right? Yeah. You have, I want to be all that you want me to be. I don't want to disappoint you. I know you have a lot of expectations from me. And I am trying to stand for that. But at times, I feel so far away from that. And I am afraid to let you down and disappoint you. See, your person don't want to let you down and disappoint you. I feel like he already could feel like he let you down because he wasn't there when 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 you was going through whatever this is, when this secret coven was doing whatever they was doing to you. Or you mentioned it and he didn't see what was going sooner or he couldn't protect you or something. But he want to be there for you, y'all. He want to be everything that you ever wanted and, and needed in a man, y'all. I'm telling you, this man ain't gonna ever leave you, y'all. It's like he gonna always wanna protect you. Always. You hear me? Yeah. It says, there is no one else who inspires me the way that you do. I am so proud of you. Your achievements and gifts, your love really gives me strength and courage to strive for more out of life, y'all. You're an inspiration to this person. You're so strong. You're so beautiful. And this woman on this picture got something on her head, y'all. Even though these people could have got a little information from you subconsciously, subconsciously, a little bit. But the stuff that they really wanted and what they really wanted to do, they couldn't. Because it's, it's showing where. And then you smiling. So, y'all, even though these people were doing this, you were still happy. I feel like you were still laughing. You were still happy. Because this woman on this picture, her whole head wrapped up. But she's smiling. You can see all 32 of her teeth. So you were still happy and smiling. You were still, stuff still was going good for you. And these people didn't like that. It made them angry. You made them mad. Even if they tried not to show it. They were mad because you were still happy. Wow. Yeah. Y'all, it pissed these people off so bad that you were still happy. I'm telling you. And they tried not to show it. They tried not to show it, but they were. I feel like they stayed mad at you because nothing. every time they tried to do something to keep you from being happy, you always came back happy. 
Your person loved that. Like you could go through anything and it, you don't look like what you've been through. And you're just a very naturally happy person. Whatever it is that you're doing, y'all, y'all, y'all could even end up being an advocate or something. This whole situation that you went through behind the scenes, you could be helping other people or something like that. Okay. I'm also getting that you're going to be helping other people. You're going to be achieving something. And it could be definitely with your gifts, y'all. I'm telling you. But yo, I'm telling you, you, your love gift this person strength. But your person is inspired by your strength. You make this person want to strive for more. It's like you make him feel like he can do anything. Because he has witnessed a very strong woman. Like you're very strong. So it's like he want to protect you, but also, y'all, I feel like you was protecting him, especially against this stuff that people were doing, because I do feel like they were sending him stuff, too, but it wasn't even hitting him like that because you were protecting him. It could have been where they wanted to get you away from this person, so maybe something could work, and it didn't. It didn't work. I'm telling you, nothing worked. Because these people know people that's in your energy. They're protected too. Look, you're the rising phase. New phase. Renew. You're the rising phoenix. You hear me? Baby, none of these people could take you out. You hear me? You defeated a whole secret witch coven. I'm talking about and the stuff that they have done have worked before on people. It just didn't work on you. And it's never going to work on you. Ever. It's never going to work on you. But I feel like you all are healing from all of this stuff these people are doing to you. You're the rising phoenix. You ready for this new phase? You and your person finna get ready to go. I'm telling you, get married. Y'all finna be going on vacations. I'm telling you right now. And everything that was supposed to happen at first with you and your person is getting ready to happen now. Now that these people are going to jail. Or something being found out about what these people been doing. But I feel like you all not being together was really protecting y'all. Because God needed, God really needed you, Divine Feminine, to kind of be in hermit. So you could see what people were doing. God needed you to be to yourself so you wouldn't have no distractions. So you can see everything that was going on behind the scenes. So you had... It had to happen this way, y'all. No matter what happened between you and your divine masculine. Every, God, God, I'm telling you, was ordering y'all steps. So, yeah, he could have did something in the past. But guess what? Everything happened the way it was supposed to happen. God needed to get your attention so you could see what was going on. It had to happen that way. But it was temporary. Y'all was going to come back together anyway. But God had to let you know what was going on with these people and what they were doing, these attacks. But it's over with now, or it's finna be. Yeah, you done rose from the ashes. These people thought that you was done for. They thought you was done for out here. They thought it was over. <laughs> Joke's on them. The joke is on them, baby, because you and your mask are finna go on vacation somewhere. You hear me? And, but you know what? Whatever these people did to you, nobody ever in this lifetime will ever be able to do anything like this to you again. So whatever it is that they were doing, it made you stronger. So even if somebody, let's just say somebody was trying to come back just to see if it could happen, it'll never, ever work again. I promise you, never. They Nobody 
I don't care if they try to hire the, the most vicious, baddest, darkest witch in this lifetime that's still living. They wouldn't even be able to do this to you again, ever. All of this only happened to make you aware and make you stronger. That's it. That's all. It was never meant to last and work on you. It was only meant for you to know what was going on. That's it. Y'all finna be on the island. You heard me. Y'all finna be on the island. You and your person. Let me see something. Y'all, y'all could be getting some money. I don't know why I'm feeling that way. Oh, y'all finna be the privileged lady. And you finna be in high honor. And I'm telling you with this courtship, you finna be, you finna be with your divine master. Y'all was protected the whole time on this courtship this far. I'm telling you, God was protecting you because on the privileged lady, it's the three. Gun, I got, I got uh God, the Father, God, the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. I'm telling you, baby, you just don't know God was protecting you. You hear me, baby? <laughs> Child. If anything, these people should have been worried about you because these people finna definitely see heavy karma for what they did. And I'm telling you and your person about to be together. Show Liz. Show Liz. You about to be in high honor, baby. You about to set some folks free. They not say y'all might even be an advocate. Y'all might even be a whole advocate. I'm telling you, somebody could be, y'all, if the officials in your community could find out whatever this is, y'all could be a whole advocate. Y'all finna change the game on how these people finna start. I'm telling you. You gonna change the game. Because a lot of people finna start, y'all, then I look, it's a surprise proposal. Your divine masculine is finna propose to you, y'all. I'm telling you. Maybe this part is, is what's getting ready to happen. If he ain't proposed to you already, this is something that's finna get ready to happen. Your love can heal them. Healing energy. Masculine feel like you can heal them. You did. You protected them too. You protected them in the spirit. Because they were sending stuff out to your masculine too and it wasn't hitting him. So that's how these people know that your loved ones, the people that's in your life, they protected too. Because it wasn't even hitting them like that. But you got a surprise proposal coming in. Okay. Yeah, somebody could be from Maine. Somebody could be from Georgia. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I'm also getting uh you got you 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 gave the officials like the official officials the keys. You gave them the keys. It's coming together now, okay? You know, cuz when I was talking about it, I said somebody got the key to something. Somebody got inside the vault, somebody got the key. You, the high priestess, you gave the authority, the good side, the people on the good side of things, you gave them the keys. You gave them that. It was you. You gave them the keys to get these people to find out what they were doing, to find out how they do it and what they were doing. You gave the you gave the good police, the good FBI, the good authorities, the good officials. You gave them the keys, baby. You gave that to them. And it's just that they had the power to unlock it, to go inside, to catch them. That's what happened. You the high priestess gave these folks the keys. 
That's why I was constantly picking up on hidden figures. Because y'all on hidden figures, Catherine is the one that ended up giving them the keys because she was so smart with mathematics. Without her, they would have never sent the astronaut up there to space. It was her calculations. That's what I'm getting. You gave them the keys, y'all. That's where that's why you finna get this recognition or something like that, y'all. People, you finna get a lot of recognition for you. I'm telling you, taking down a secret coven, y'all, that was up there unalived people with dark spell where the witches and warlocks finna be found out. And after that, this surprise puzzle surprise suppose proposal is coming in because all of this had to be found out first these people had to go down first and it actually could be an investigation going on right now Fentu. <coughs> yeah these people definitely threw some in some water okay you got Vermont. You got a lot of up north energy. So you got Maine. You got Vermont. Somebody here could even be an entrepreneur. So you got businesses that was involved in this coven that's going to be found out. Those could be places where you're from. Okay, places that you currently visited. But you could be, you can live anywhere for this reading to resonate. But something is definitely specific about those places that came out. Yeah, these people didn't like how accurate you were. Yeah, didn't I tell you? Doctors involved, bro. They were bragging about it. So my name is Kiki. Somebody sick or they finna be sick. And they didn't even get paid a whole lot of money. You got $500 here. And restaurants involved. Didn't I say it's businesses and stuff involved? So the good the good authorities and stuff finding out, I'm telling you, they got the keys. They finding out about doctors that's involved in this secret coven. Okay. And a feminine name, Kiki. And they were bragging about it. See, they were bragging about what they were doing. And somebody got paid $500. Somebody wasn't even getting paid a lot of money. They was definitely doing a hypnosis spell. That's, yeah, a hypnosis spell, y'all. So maybe y'all can look it up, okay? Yeah, see, these people skating on thin ice. I'm telling you, it's about to go down. I'm telling you what I know. So if this is still going on with you and the authorities ain't came to you yet about this yet, they skating on thin ice. And see, didn't I tell you something about out of state? So wherever you are, it's people out of state that's ain't even involved in this. Yeah. That's probably why all those states came out, y'all. Because it's people out of state that's even doing things that was even involved in this. That's why that came out. So it could, those could be places where these people live that was also involved. But spirits saying they skating on thin ice. So if they still are doing something, they ain't finna be able to do it for long. Cause then I say it's finna whoever is doing these spells on you ain't finna be able to do it too much longer. It's finna be taken away. I'm telling you, something finna change. 
And yet your person only wants you because you're so amazing. Your person, I do feel like at one point, your person did walk away from you. But I really feel like it was the manipulation. It was the spell work. Because y'all is showing up that y'all was supposed to be married. Right? You made this person want to be a family man. But honestly, I feel like because all these truths came out with that justice card, your person, that's why he wanna, that's why he wants things, he wants things to move so fast, is because he know what people been doing. It's like I always knew she was the one. I always knew it was something. I was always, I always wanted to come to her, but something was always telling me to go another way or do something else. So, you know, now that your person know what was going on, I'm telling you, that's why it's, that's why. The engagement in a wedding gonna happen so fast is because y'all was supposed to actually been married and these people manipulated it. You know, he never wanted he he didn't want no options. He didn't want to keep his options open. This man wanted you. That's why he could never let you go. He never understood why he wanted you wanted you and loved you so much, but never came your way because he never had no reason not to commit to you, or he had no reason to be scared of you. They were doing stuff to him subconsciously too. But this man, he want to be a family man now. Didn't I tell you somebody that he used to be be with, he dealt with in the past, one of his exes was a part of this? It's, it's, it's a, a best friend of his that's involved and an ex of his that's involved. This person feel like heaven sent you to him. He want to see you or he going to be wanting to see you. Okay, maybe after all of this hit the fan. Yeah. Oh, this person said he want to give it to you like you ain't never had it. So he's missing you intimately. Okay, he feel like you a dream come true. Okay, he want to give you everything you need and want. As long as he alive, he want to give you everything you need and want. I'm telling you. He feel like the love that y'all have. You know, it makes life worth living. Yeah. Y'all finna y'all finna get ready to get a call from this person too. Yeah. And I feel like when this person contact you, it's gonna be right after all of this hit the fan and you finna get a lot of recognition. You finna get a lot of recognition, I'm telling you, because you help the good authorities get and get inside of whatever this is. I'm telling you, and you finna get a lot of recognition in your community. And I feel like everywhere, because this ain't just, look, you finna be rich. Y'all both finna be rich. Yeah. Your person said nothing would break us, not even this dark spells. <laughs> nothing could break y'all. Divine family, you strong. You hear me? You the goat. I'm telling you, baby. Mark my words. Y'all, for some of y'all, this might be on the news. Okay, I'm telling you, but baby, this was a good reading. This was a good reading, but that's all I have for you all. I hope that this resonated in some way and gave you all some type of clarity. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your donations. God love you, and I do too. Bye.